Namaste. Okay, um, today's video is, uh, is a smoothie recipe. Um, I call this um, a pina colada smoothie. It's a green smoothie, but it doesn't taste like greens at all. It tastes exactly like a pina colada. <laughs> Which, who doesn't like a pina colada? Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing is I have uh, half a pineapple here and I'm just gonna um, take the outside skin off um, and then that's gonna go into my blender. Let's see what I'm doing here. Where's my knife? <sighs> Where's my knife? Hang on. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm just... <laughs> there you go. There you are. Hi. Okay. So I'm just going to take the um, skin off my pineapple. I urge you to use fresh pineapple in this recipe. Um, Try not to eat pineapple out of a can. I mean, you can you can do that if you if you want to try this recipe and you have a can of pineapple, you can totally like you know if you're into eating that kind of stuff, <laughs> you can do that. But um, today I'm just using half one half of a fresh pineapple. Now I put the core in here. Um, you don't have to do that. You can cut the core out, but I. It doesn't bother me to have the core of the pineapple in there. There's no seeds in it or anything, so it's not like it's just extra fiber, right? And not that I need any extra fiber because I eat pretty much nothing but fiber, but anyways, here we go. So there is my half a pineapple going in to the blender. Now, mm, Now I have here a fresh young Thai coconut, okay? And I've already um, kind of broken this open. I'll show you. There's there's like a little, right? So I've, I've taken the husk off the top of it. These are, I don't know, it takes some practice learning how to get into a coconut. <laughs> um, I've been doing it for a while, so um, I've, but basically what you do, I'll show you how I do it. I take, I've got this giant cleaver right here. And I just, what I do is I like, I peel the husk away from the top, right? I peel all the husk off so that you can, you can see the shell underneath. And then you just go whack, 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 whack all the way around the whole entire top until it comes off. I don't, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay. So then I have my coconut here, and I'm just going to take this top piece off. There's a little bit of the shell in there. Oh, coconut water. Coconut water is like heaven. <laughs> um, so I sometimes will buy coconut water in the store just because I love coconut water. But if I can, I will buy these coconuts and drink the water fresh out of the coconut. And part of the reason why I do that is it's actually cheaper to buy a coconut and you get, you get the water and you get this, this wonderful, like raw vegan meat is what this is. <laughs> okay. So, oh, that's tasty. This one's quite thick. It's got a, um, see that? Sometimes there's like a jelly consistency inside of these. Anyway, so here's my coconut. These are full of coconut water, my favorite substance on the planet, I think. Okay, and I'm just gonna throw that into my blender. And I'm gonna save a little bit because I like to drink this stuff too. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna get like a little piece. Okay. So there's 
here's my, I got two little pieces of this coconut that are gonna go, and this one's really thick, but the thickness doesn't matter because it's all gonna get blended up. Blended up, I need more than that. I would really love to one day get my hands on a tool or something that I could use to like better scoop the meat out of these things because I find it I find it quite difficult to try and do this with a spoon. Anyway, I think that's enough. Okay, so I think I'll put them in there. So here we go. Whoops! Some coconut meat going in. Going in my blender, okay? So, how much is that? I don't know, I'd say like a third of this coconut just went in here, okay? Then I'm going to put two bananas in here because I like bananas. I think they're delicious. And they're also very filling. Um, I eat smoothies for breakfast every, all the time, <laughs> actually. I eat smooth. I eat, sometimes I drink juices for breakfast, but I really, I really enjoy my smoothies, especially in the winter because they're very filling and, and it keeps you going for a lot longer. In the summer, I like to be a little bit lighter and juices are good, but, and it is summer, I know, but it's cold here. It's raining all the time and. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird year. Okay, so pineapple, coconut, banana, and then in go the greens. So I have here a, this is about half of a store-bought cucumber, which I'm going to remove the peels because I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but um, cucumber peels, just about every vegetable actually that you buy in the store. Will have this like waxy substance on on it, and I just wash my veggies with water. Sometimes if they're like, and that doesn't take the wax off, so I just peel them. And that's just what I do because it's easier for me to do it that way, right? It's got to be easy. You got to find you got you got to find a way to make it work if you're if you're determined to you know like I'm pretty determined to make this work and to you know. Love my life this way. Okay, so here is half a cucumber, size large. It's a big piece of cucumber going in there. And then just because I have a stick of celery here, <laughs> this is totally optional. It was just like literally laying around in my kitchen. I don't usually put a stick of celery in here, but I figure because it's here, why not? Right? So that's going in there. Then I have my greens, okay? I'm probably gonna shove all of this in there and then go pick some more. Because. So this is a combination of um, spinach and the spring mix, okay? And I just, I, I get it at the store, it's pre-washed. It's, it's handy, right? It's really convenient for me, okay? So that is going in there. I have one more little trick that makes this smoothie taste super delicious. I mean, it's gonna be super good. It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. <laughs> I put a tiny little splash of real vanilla extract in here, just a tiny little bit, and it makes this smoothie like it's so 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 good. Okay. There we go. And that is everything we need for this recipe. So now we're just gonna blend.
Okay. Yeah. Oh goodness. There's like some spinach that go down. But um I'm gonna show you the beautiful color here. Check that out. Oh ho ho. Yum. Okay. This smoothie actually tastes like a pina colada. It is so delicious. And there's like three cups of greens in there. So fantastic way to start your day with a green smoothie. And try my pina colada smoothie because it's the bomb. If you like um, raw vegan recipes, subscribe to my channel because I'm pumping them out all the time. And um, if you liked this video, where are you? Here we are. Give it a thumbs up. And um, leave a comment down below and let me know something that you want to see me do next. Um, you know, I'm open to new suggestions. So um, that's all I got for today. Peace.